we recently ran a session all about funding for transparency organisations and we wrote this up in quite some detail. I'll put a link in the notes, but we thought, why don't we speak to one of the attendees to ask them what they found really interesting or useful. So we got together with Gabby Rosano from Open Up South Africa, which is an organisation a little bit like My Society. They develop and support projects that empower citizens. Open Up, we're a civic tech organisation based in Cape Town. I'm going to just start by asking Jen to explain what the session was about. We at My Society are running a community of practice around access to information, which is a meeting for professional individuals who work on access to information in any form to meet and learn about different subjects. And the most recent one that we did was around fundraising, because this is a a challenge that is key to all of our work. We heard from um, a funder. We heard from uh, someone who is a specialist in kind of individual donations and crowdfunding work. And we also heard from a fundraiser. What Ali was uh, teaching us about individual donors, it's a communications project. You know, communications is seen as such an add on to a lot of the stuff we do as like a last ditch thing You when you're like, oh, I should do something on this, you know. And it's so fundamental to a lot of the funding and fundraising. Yeah, he just really clearly made it into a communications task. It's like everybody is at one point along a journey. How do you get them up to the next step from somebody who's mildly interested in what you do to somebody who might become a proper supporter? Remind me, I need to go segment my <laughs> funder databases. We've already started seeing like just how much value there is as to like actually growing the support you have from existing both clients and funders rather than trying to access new ones. So we're definitely going to do that. And another thing that Caroline was talking about. Yeah, Caroline was explaining from the funders' point of view, like when they get a huge stack of applications, uh, what processes do they use or what measures to weed that stack out to the ones that they're actually going to fund? Which I quite enjoyed. Focusing on the why you part, we sometimes take for granted that we're well positioned and that's why we're doing things. And then we heard from Alice, who's our head of fundraising at My Society, about the best ways to try and show impact in your funding bids. You know, there's obviously, there's the classic problem in the transparency environment of trying to um, link your your input to your impacts. I did like some of the advice on, you know, sort of linking to sectoral issues, you know, as a way of like contextualizing your impact for people. Um, because we actually find that particularly challenging with articulating very clearly, you know, what their investment is doing for, you know, the public mm. is, is always a challenge mm. in the transparency sector. Thanks very much to Gabby for joining us in that conversation and to Jen for popping in. As I say, we wrote up the whole session, which had loads of insights in it. So I will put the link to that write up in the notes. So if you're an organisation that works around transparency or in fact any kind of civic tech organisation trying to up the different revenue streams or ways of getting funding, you should find that write-up really interesting. And since we're talking about funding, then it would be remiss of me not to mention that My Society is a charity and we welcome donations. Please check out our website www.mysociety.org forward slash donate if you would like to help us keep this kind of work continuing.